वेलकम मैम सुषुम्ना मैम यू कैन हियर मी यस मैम वी कैन हियर यू मैम जो है वो एडटेक एक्सपर्ट है और करंटली मैम एसोसिएटेड है एथिराज कॉलेज फॉर वुमन चेन्नई एज एन एल एम एस एडवाइजर मैम जो सेशन लेंगी वो इंटरक्टिव रिसोर्सेज पे लेंगी इंटरक्टिव रिसोर्सेज कॉन्सेप्ट पर्पज टाइप डेवलपमेंट डिसमिनेशन प्रोसेस इस सेशन में हम लोग इंटरक्टिव कैसे क्रिएट किए जाते हैं क्या कॉन्सेप्ट है क्या पर्पज है और कैसे हम लोग उसको इम्प्लीमेंट कर सकते हैं इस चीज को हम सीखेंगे तो ओवर टू यू मैम मैम यू आर नॉट ऑडिबल मैम Rachu, ma'am, can you hear me? I lost yes, in between. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma now we can okay. hear you. Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Over to you, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Yes. Good afternoon, all. Uh, happy to see all of you. And I think uh, there is a pre-session survey form that was sent to you all, but I see only uh, um, not even half participants. I feel that that is just for me to understand, you know, uh, where to start and how to uh, start the session, so that uh, I'll do justice to <clears throat> whatever. Uh, sorry, ma'am. Uh, sorry, sorry to interruption. Yeah, uh, ma'am. Uh, आप थोड़ा bilingual uh, रहिएगा, ma'am, इस uh, session में. हाँ, जरूर. हाँ, जरूर. Thank you, ma'am. Ah, uh, yeah, जरूर. Uh, जो हमने pre-session survey के लिए एक uh, form तो भेजा है. क्योंकि um, मुझे वो समझ में आना है कि आप कितना ये सब्जेक्ट के बारे में बहुत जानते हो जानकारी है तो तब वहां से मैं ले सकती हूँ तो कंटेंट बट देन आई गॉट ओनली फ्यू रिजल्ट्स बट स्टिल मैंने दो क्वेश्चंस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस उसमें पूछा है कि आप अगर आपने एच के बारे में सुना है अगर सुना तो क्या कुछ कॉन्टेंट uh, बनाया गया है वैसा वाला क्वेश्चंस मैंने पूछा है वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग रिजल्ट्स आई गॉट दो मेनी पीपल सेड वी हैव हर्ड बट बहुत कम लोग ऐसे उसको जान पहचानत है उसके बारे में वेरियस कंटेंट टाइप्स के बारे में दैट्स व्हाट आई कुड अंडरस्टैंड लुकिंग एट द फॉर्म सो आई एम वेरी हैप्पी थैंक्स हु फिल्ड दिस फॉर्म बट देन इफ यू हैवन डन प्लीज डू दैट so that um, while looking at in between the breaks and looking at uh, the survey i can adjust my presentation the way it is really necessary for you all okay so let me share my screen first <clears throat> yeah okay okay good job so here <clears throat> this is what i thought of but i don't know how far i can do justice uh, uh, will be able to do justice to this maine socha ki 245 tak mera lecture chalu hoga uske baad ek demo hoga demo ke baad practical and then we'll do practical together and then we'll discuss If there are any doubts, because uh, मैंने ऑब्जर्व किया है थोड़ा एडवांस यूजर्स भी है इसमें तो थोड़ा एडवांस डाउट्स भी हो सकता है बट आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू डिस्टर्ब फॉर पीपल हु आर जस्ट फर्स्ट टाइमर्स विद एच फाइव पी ओके सो मैंने इसलिए वो वीडियो uh, रख, uh, चंक रखा है 
4 to 420 that we will discuss about all those advanced doubts and clarifications and then uh, there is also an assignment in this session you know it's not just about me talking and talking and I'll be interacting, you will be interacting with the content because this session is all about interactive content. And then um, we, we will be doing one assignment also altogether. Okay, so first, what I want all of you to do is I know post lunch session is always uh, sleepy, you know, uh, feel, we, we, we always feel sleepy. But then um, I want all of you to be very active because we are doing interactive content. So I want you to uh, scan this code or go to slido.com in your mobile phones or in your laptops or your desktops. Enter that 7194062 and answer that question. I asked one question that is the phrase or a word that comes to your mind that is learning, uh, interactivity in learning. The moment we say interactivity in learning, what comes to your mind? The very first thing, you know, the moment we say interactivity. Bas aapko ye QR code scan karna hai aur waha jana hai aapko type aapka answer type karna hai. Yeah, only one word I got as of now. I think I must share this. Okay, the question is, uh, what comes to your mind the moment you say, um, uh, when, when it is, uh, when you listen to a phrase, interactivity in learning? Oh my God, it's a huge word, immersive. Yeah, both parties take active part. It's a two-way learning. Yeah. Yeah, the, the word communication and hands-on experience, maybe engagement. Exchange and innovative. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting answers. Very active participants. Happy for you and a big clap for you all. Yes. You are really sharing your thoughts and your ideas. Joyous. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Active participation. Yes. You are all defining what interactivity is in learning, right? Basically, the definition that we are all getting. There are around uh, how many participants? I can see around uh, 200 participants. Maybe we'll say 180 or 190 at least. We should get such a wonderful word cloud here, right? Then very few are really active here. Okay. Expression of views. Okay, this is something different. Bonding. Mm -hmm. Okay. Synchronous learning. Um, you know, a, uh, synchronous learning is nothing but a live communication. Uh, like whatever now it is happening, teacher and student at the same time, they are connected. Right? They are live. Bidirectional dialogue. Okay. Two way like Slido. Okay. <laughs> That's being very smart. That's nice. 
immersive maybe uh, we can say immersive but then that word may not uh, be understandable with for everyone the, uh, the really you have when you when it comes to interactivity yes immersive can be the answer after maybe a decade or so as of now i'm thinking because immersive is like when you when you talk about really um, active gaming uh, with the um, either uh, virtual reality then definitely it is a high level of interaction definitely it is interaction it is a higher level of interaction okay great wonderful thank you so much so uh, now let's uh, get to our presentation uh, wonderful answers i got <clears throat> Very nice. Um, so you all already uh, defined what is interactivity is all about. Um, if you really take a dictionary definition as such, interactivity, especially in learning. So the involvement of users in exchange of information with computers and the degree to which this happens. Like I just explained about immersive, right? Higher level of interaction that is. Right? When a user really get immersed with the kind of environment they are in. So to what level, to what extent that they get interaction with the content or with the teacher. So in simple terms, we can say content that requires the students to interact or engage with that content. Here, the important uh, term here is the communication. Uh, like if you have any ideas, just keep it uh, with you. And in between, uh, I am, you can also raise a question or express your ideas. So here we are interactive content. So content can be anything with which student can interact. And as a teacher, we can engage engage with them. That is an interactive content. When it comes to interactivity in learning, Learning में interactivity के बारे में बात करें तो uh, MG Murray का ये जो uh, three types of interactions है very very important they are considered very important that there are three types of interactions we always consider they are le between learner and learner between students छात्रों के बीच में जो interaction होता है वो that is also very very important right peer interaction बोलते हैं उसको and then learner or teacher ke beech mein jo hota hai student or teacher ke beech mein jo hota hai wo interaction and the third type defined is learner and content ke beech mein ye vidyarthi chhatra jo hai aur content ke sath kaisa interact ho raha hai these are the three types that are defined already which are considered in e learning learner learner ke beech mein example ye ho sakta hai ki अगर आप हाइब्रिड लर्निंग में या प्योर ऑनलाइन लर्निंग के बारे में बात करें तो जैसे हम डिस्कशन फोरम्स देते हैं जहां सबको एक लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल आई जस्ट गिव यू अ स्लाइडो जहां आप बस यू कैन ओनली इंटरैक्ट विद द कंटेंट ओवर देयर यू आर नॉट एबल टू इंटरैक्ट विद योर पीयर्स देयर राइट बट इन द चैट हियर वी आर यू आर एबल टू डू इट राइट इफ इट इज इनफ as uh, uh, online communication uh, we are talking about if it is in a traditional classroom as uh, yes of course between students they can always talk and express right uh, if you give a group work or so between a learner and a teacher in a learning environment in online learning environment like learner or teacher ke beech mein ye jo interaction ho sakta hai wo synchronous bhi ho sakta hai asynchronous bhi ho sakta hai how it can happen asynchronously synchronously yani ki uh, जहां अभी हम कर रहे हैं सिंक्रोनस बिटवीन पार्टिसिपेंट्स एंड द फैसिलिटेटर राइट इट कैन इवन बी बिटवीन ओनली नॉट विद ऑल द पार्टिसिपेंट्स ऑन द फैसिलिटेटर बिटवीन ओनली यू कैन इवन सेंड अ डायरेक्ट मैसेज टू फैसिलिटेटर राइट दैट इज बिटवीन इंडिविजुअल कम्युनिकेशन लाइक सिमिलरली इवन इन लर्निंग मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम इफ यू हैव वन वेयर यू मैनेज ऑल योर लर्नर्स एंड द कॉन्टेंट यू कैन ऑलवेज क्रिएट दैट एनवायरमेंट वेयर स्टूडेंट्स कैन इंटरैक्ट विद अ टीचर इधर इंडिविजुअली और इन अ ग्रुप राइट एंड अगर बिटवीन लर्नर और कंटेंट के बीच में जो होता है 
यहाँ सिंक्रोनस और एसिंक्रोनस बोथ आर पॉसिबल हाउ इज इट पॉसिबल लाइक अभी जो सिंक्रोनस हो रहा है दैट इज फाइन बट देन सिंक्रोनस में जहां जैसे आप कंटेंट बनाएंगे वहां पे कुछ तरीके के कुछ टूल्स हो सकते हैं कि वहां जहां आप फीडबैक दे सकते हैं उसके साथ लर्नर uh, जो है अपने आप को करेक्ट करके वो फीडबैक के हिसाब से अपना लर्निंग स्टाइल को थोड़ा इंप्रूव कर सकता है या बदल सकता है या लर्निंग को कर को लर्निंग कर को इंप्रूव भी कर सकता है डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द काइंड ऑफ फीडबैक दैट यू विल बी प्रोवाइडिंग देम यू विल बी डिजाइनिंग देम बिफोर हैंड एंड देन रिलीजिंग द कॉन्टेंट राइट सो दिस लर्नर कॉन्टेंट इंटरेक्शन जो है बहुत बढ़िया है और वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एट दैट प्ले अ मेजर रोल इन इंप्रूविंग एंड लर्नर्स um learning curve and also making them actively participate in the course or whatever uh, the environment learning environment that you designed so we can say that interactivity in learning definitely promotes uh learners to be actively participate to improve their learning and it gives an opportunity to communicate not only with the teacher but also with the content for example you have given a content jo jahan pe jis tool ke sath aapne design kiya hai wahan pe agar feedback mein agar aapne kuch communication dala hai okay you answered this uh, this option that you have selected is wrong ab isse aur jankari ke liye aap ye link mein jaake padhiye that is a kind of a feedback that you can give that is the opportunity you are providing to communicate with the learner right similarly you can even track learner's behavior uska behavior kaisa tha pehle kaisa tha abhi kaisa hai aap dekh sakte ho depending upon the kind of tool you use again the kind of environment that you are in the kind of teaching learning environment that you have okay these are all the things can happen depending upon the teaching learning environment that you have and moreover it definitely it uh, engages learners in the teaching learning environment by making them very active isn't it i hope you all agree with me if you have any questions please uh, you can ask in the question and answer session on this part also because this is very very important when it comes to interactivity in learning simple interaction can be uh, you can even name it like interacting with the content for example just clicking and uh, looking at the link or going to that particular link is also interaction as uh, in the very first definition the very first slide we talked about to to what degree that we are providing that interactivity that, that matters चलिए तो अभी आज का सेशन है इंटरक्टिव कंटेंट के बारे में तो हाउ डू वी कॉन्सेप्ट तो मैंने एक्सप्लेन किया है इन अटशल एंड देन व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इज इंटरक्टिव कंटेंट एंड वी हैव सीन दैट एंड हाउ टू क्रिएट इट हाउ डू वी क्रिएट इंटरक्टिव कंटेंट इन लर्निंग टर्मिनोलॉजी द मोमेंट यू से दैट यू you are authoring uh, we we call it authoring okay the moment you say of course authoring any content authoring we call it when we are designing so when you are, uh, when there are some certain software tools that are available to create interactive content that is called a authoring tool that's called a an authoring tool ye authoring tools jo hai bahut tarike ke hote hain free hote hain premium hote hain open hote hain okay so there are many to name like um, if you want a premium ones like uh, techsmith ka camtasia jo hai wo video interactive content banane mein bahut uh, um, acha video interactive content bana sakte hain aur uh, camleon ke sath bhi aap create kar sakte hain similarly you have very simple uh, powerpoint ke sath jod ke i string भी एक सूट है जो उसके साथ जो आप इंटरक्टिव कंटेंट बना सकते हैं सिमिलरली यू हैव एडोबीज कैप्टिवेट इज वन ऑथरिंग टूल एंड देन यू हैव रैक्टिविटी एंड ओपन लर्निंग एडेप्टिव यू थिंक फिक लाइक दिस देर आर मेनी देर आर मेनी ऑथरिंग टूल्स अवेलेबल टू क्रिएट वेरियस वेराइटीज ऑफ इंटरक्टिव कॉन्टेंट सॉरी बट रिमेम्बर whatever the tool we use it doesn't matter how fancy it is how expensive it is or uh, what kind of um, output that we are getting what we have to concentrate is first how accessible it is 
here accessible in the sense uh, are we uh, able to provide the content that we develop easily uh, we can disseminate uh, we can circulate among our users is it accessible to them and also accessibility here even for a, a special needs kids whether are we able to design and generate content for them at the same time while while we are creating some content for a regular people okay all and 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 how pocket friendly it is it is very very important so before we choose any tool any edtech tool not just interactive tool any edtech tool for that matter you have to consider first what are the needs and then how useful it is in your teaching learning environment every tool will have its own pros and cons but then you have to consider that what is really important for you how um, good that pedagogically it is really um, helping you to deliver your content in a way that your users will receive and absorb whatever you are trying to deliver okay and then um, as we talked we just talked about there are free and open source tools there are some premium tools available what is an open source tool first let me give you um, a definition to it open source tools are like uh, any tool for that matter when it was when it is developed that so that source code is available to public so you can uh, if you have a good technical ability if you have a good staff you can always engage them to customize the way you want it not only the look and feel of that particular tool but also its functionality can be enhanced so open source tools are free available uh, source code is there the tool is free for you that you don't have to pay for it but then it needs an environment to fit in right so you it requires us uh, an environment to fit in you need a certain space that you can host that particular tool to operate it it requires a certain environment for example you have any uh, any software you have unless you have a machine to uh, install it and run it you can't use it right similarly but then there are um, softwares that you have to buy them but these are open source tools are that you don't have to buy them they're already available tools when you have a certain environment you just have to plug in install it and then use it so in today's session we will be talking about a tool open source authoring tool called h5p okay um what is H5P and why H5P? H5P, the name is uh, uh, very funny. Uh, there's a number in between. It sounds like HTML. Yes, you're right. Uh, because whatever we generate the content, uh, it needs a browser to play. HTML5 is the latest version of a uh, markup language. Uh, out of it, uh, they derived the short name is H5P. It is based on JavaScript and HTML5. It is an open source tool. I told you what is an open source, right? And why it is considered is because it is very easy to use as a teacher and also as a student. Use in the sense for a teacher to create and share and even to modify already available content type. And for a user to access it, they just need a browser to access it more. I'm sorry. Moreover, it is uh, responsive in the sense whatever the kind of device you are using, the content will definitely display. Sometimes you may have certain issues that uh, um, uh, the screen size, depending upon the screen size, for example, interactive video may, may, may display sometimes uh, differently in a shorter devices, but then it will display. It's not that it won't play in your mobiles so um, in a nutshell the, those are the advantages but then what we can do with h5p you can create a wonderful interactive videos where uh, in inside a video you can add certain questions so you can uh, give them some uh, extra information to the users you can create a wonderful drag and drop uh, questions in between a video or simply you can create a quiz with the drag and drop options or uh, you can even uh, create uh, activities like labeling them and then when it comes to 
um, fill in the blanks, you have advanced fill in the blanks is one content type there where you can even provide a feedback based on the reply that they give you. There are certain um, content types in H5P that they'll give you an option to provide feedback in different ways. content types HYP varieties of feedback bhi hum de sakte hain. To kitne sare content types hai HYP ke? Bohat sare hai. Multimedia presentations bana sakte ho aap. Multiple choice quiz ya drag and drops alag alag se bhi bana sakte ho ya simple uh, hot spot bhi ab bana sakte hain. Ye jo yaha periodic table jaisa dikh raha hai 50 varieties of content types ko uh, mene eh, sab ki periodic table jaisa banaya aur isko mene live diya H5P ke saath jahaan aap each content type ko click karenge to वहां आप वो उस ट्यूटोरियल के पास जा सकते हैं यहां जो सेग्रीगेट किया हुआ है ये सब 50 वैरायटीज ऑफ टूल्स इसकी तरह की जैसे कि कुछ कंटेंट टाइप्स होते हैं H5P के खाली प्रेजेंटेशन करने के लिए कुछ कंटेंट टाइप्स होते हैं खाली हम टास्क देने के लिए कुछ कंटेंट टाइप्स होते हैं जैसे कि यहां आप ऑरेंज में देख सकते हैं अराउंड 6 ऑफ देम आर देयर वेयर यू कैन नॉट ओनली प्रेजेंट योर कंटेंट but also you can provide a task in between. For example, like up a video de rahe ho, video ke beach may be up a task de sakte ho. Okay, that way also you can create. If you already heard about H5P, a very nice that I saw many of the majority of them heard about H5P. That means you have seen the content types and what kind of content types that you really can create so there are many varieties there are also audio based ones but then i request um, these audio based are depending upon your target learners you have to prepare sometimes uh, it may not really behave uh, as you expect though especially audio ones okay we have to be very careful while creating any content type we have to test it in many ways so, आपको अभी पता चल गया कि H5P के साथ हम around लगभग 40 से 50 variety का content type तो बना सकते हैं, लेकिन कहाँ बना सकते हैं, कैसे बना सकते हैं? आपको अगर कोई website हो जहाँ H5P plugin free plugin है, by the way, which जहाँ आप H5P plugin को enable कर सकते हो, for example WordPress या Drupal sites जो हैं, उसको H5P plugin free में मिलता है, जहाँ आप create कर सकते हो। नहीं तो आपके पास H5P.com is a SaaS solution है, SaaS यानी software as a service solution, जहाँ जैसे मैंने बोला कि ये ओपन सोर्स टूल है इसके लिए एक एनवायरनमेंट चाहिए जैसे कि एक वेबसाइट होना चाहिए नहीं तो अगर आपके पास वेबसाइट नहीं है तो H5P वाले ही एक आपको दे रहे हैं H5P.com प्लान दे रहे हैं जहां आप एक अकाउंट क्रिएट करके वहां से आपके कंटेंट आप यू कैन डिस्ट्रीब्यूट टू योर यूजर्स एंड देयर आर सम एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस एंड आई विल एक्सप्लेन ऑल ऑफ देम विद ऑल वैरायटीज ऑफ वेज दैट यू कैन शेयर एंड पब्लिश योर कंटेंट्स एंड अदर वे इज अगर आपके पास कोई लर्निंग मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम हो लाइक ब्राइट स्पेस हो या मूडल हो और कैनवास हो ब्लैक बोर्ड हो या कोई अलग सा लर्निंग मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम हो जिसको जहां आप H5P सपोर्ट करता है जहां आप बना सकते हैं H5P content types. And one more thing is here, you have an application called Lumi um, desktop application that is again open source free desktop application. You can download and then you can create offline also. There is one more that recently available Lumi people have come up with a cloud option where you can create your content in cloud. But remember, while creating in cloud, you have to be very, very, very careful about using the content or uh, the images that you where you procure from. I hope you all are aware of open educational resources, open licenses now. So for education purpose, you better, sir, if you want any image, you search for those public domain or uh, uh, an image with the open license where you can... Um, repurpose reuse and then only use them while creating in the cloud or 
you have an option to register in H5P catalog uh, where you can repurpose open educational resource and you create content and release it with a open license in H5P catalog dot in okay so let me explain uh in another four minutes what are the different uh ways after the break i will tell you about uh what is the um a difference of uh, using these different uh what is the output difference when you use an hyp.com or in lumi a desktop or in lumi online we will talk about it shortly and also how to uh, analyze uh, results but remember hyp content types are not uh, to create uh, um, your summative assessments okay uh, this is for more of formative assessment types so you can while creating your uh, content types you can even share them as a for example you might say that i don't have any website i don't have any um any environment where i can create so definitely you can use lumi application and then you can distribute your files as a html file too there is an option so what are we going to do now is i will give you a small um, break where you can go to lumi.education and then what you can do is you can register there there is a small button here login and register if you already have an account click on login or click on register and then once you register there with your username one word dj small letters dj or aapka email id or ek password aap sochiye dj or aapko ek email aayega usko confirm kijiye fir yaha lumi.education mein aake aap isko kholiye to aapko dikhai dega aisa wala page jahan hum content create karenge kaun sa content create karenge we will try a quiz with the multiple types of questions if possible in the quiz we will even try drag and drop if time permits okay now uh, the i'll give you a time if you have any questions you can ask me or you can go to this app.lumi.education you will see a site like this you go to register and then register yourself any questions as of now yes uh, manjit singh sir yes sir you can unmute and ask maybe i'm not able to see the chat you can unmute and ask sir or let me stop sharing and see the chat oh only admin can talk okay sure okay a periodic table uh, i will uh, rampal sir i will share the entire presentation and also i will uh, share the clickable um, option also okay don't worry and the best part about uh, h5p is it is a it got a very strong community where you can yes it is accessible by mobile no issues and manjit singh sir please uh, type your question here if you can and uh, the beauty is as i said the community is very strong uh, whatever doubt you have the tutorials are very much available in h5p.org but remember h5p.org is not a place to create content it is only a testing site manjit singh sir i think i answered your question self hosted and h5p.org h5p.org is only they clearly mention there that is only for the testing purpose aapko koi pehle jab wo log launch kiye the 7 years ke pehle sab content types we are able to test them but now you know how many years they give free of us everybody started creating and using it as um, their learning management system everybody created and then there are 
thousands of uh, activities there. But they clearly mentioned that whatever you create here will be going into H5P OER hub very soon. They are going to launch and all of them will be with a um, copyrighted or Creative Commons open license. So remember all of that. And then also um, the recently, I think they are not giving all content types to test over there. Very new ones they are providing to test. Yeah, Lumi H5P ka link uh, share karna hai, theek hai. Agar aapko, um, <clears throat> let me share my screen with that. Maybe then it will be easy for you. Okay. I shared in the chat box. Also, I will share the screen. All of you, please register over there. Register karne ke liye main uh, aur ek baar pataungi. I hope, sir, Manjit, sir, I answered your question. Limitations on both. Okay. Limitations. That's what I told you, sir. Uh, limitations and also we'll talk about little more uh, after everybody got into this because uh, you might have already experienced H5P. Um, I don't want to confuse these people now talking about limitations. There are limitations, definitely. Uh, I told you about free account in hyp.org is not at all for uh, your teaching purpose. That's only for testing purpose. That is the first limitation. You can't try all of them. Okay, great. You registered, great. Uh, I will wait uh, for uh, five more minutes because I want everybody... to be on the same page here. You click, go to app.lumi.education and then click on register. Because I already registered, I came here. Otherwise you will be asked, yeah. Username ek aapko dena hai and then email ID, password de dije, I agree and then register, you will receive a mail. Okay, username up uh, a key word de jie, short uh, uh, small letters me de jie. Okay, okay, great. So, if everybody okay, is it mandatory for those having LMS? Rajendra Sharma, sir, if you have if you are having an LMS that supports your HPP activity, that's well and good, you can do it there. But then you can always, uh, as an assignment, I want you to do it here and submit. Great. I don't know what LMS you are using. <clears throat> so, okay. Okay. Moodle, great. Moodle, which version, sir? Because uh, latest versions uh, are different from the older versions. How they behave with HYP is different. Great. 4.1. Then... Uh, you might also know uh, have uh, noticed the kind of bugs we have while using content pack. <clears throat> okay, fine. Everybody registered. Then let me show this uh, Lumi Cloud how it goes and what it does. Let's do a quiz. <clears throat> okay, let me share my screen. Okay. Yeah, I haven't uh, gone there uh, uh, showing how to not getting registration mail. Manjit sir, uh, we all got, I even tried to register with a new username. I got it. Just check your uh, spam. Or otherwise, have you given a correct email ID? And somebody already trying uh, 
MCQs. That's great. Let me demo it, sir. You already raised a question. <clears throat> Okay, great. So when you register, please log in. Hello. Hello. Please log in. Once you log in, then you will see this screen here. A screen like this, you'll be seeing. Shall I continue from here? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. So the beauty of this platform is maybe prior to OER Hub, they might have launched this. Uh, as I said, uh, very soon we are going to have H5P OER Hub where content from all over the world with open license will be shared over there where depending upon the kind of license it got, we can repurpose them. Here you can search for a public content. When you click on that, you will see uh, the content already available here. Okay. Or again, you can go to your dashboard. And there are uh, four other options here. My content, create new content, upload your content, shared links. And on the left-hand side, you have a menu here. The same things again given here. Okay. I'm not touching any of them as of now. Right now, I'm trying to click on create new content. Okay. If you have already created, you will see that content inside your my content. So click on create new content. You land on this page where uh, um, you have a drop down option with a lot of uh, uh, content types that are already available, 50 varieties of content types that are available, uh, you can choose from. Remember, this HYP editor is the same whether you use in HYP.com or whether you use in uh, your uh, Moodle LMS from your content bank or when you use in your self-hosted WordPress or a Drupal site or in a Lumi desktop application, this uh, view is the same, okay? But in h5p.com, as I said, slowly I will be revealing all the differences, right? In h5p.com, you might have many more content types available there, okay? Which are not available in other options. So here we can directly if you know the all the content varieties uh, you can just uh, type the name and search or you can um, sort them from a to z according to their names or newest first newly added ones first or popular first okay and then here uh, there is a question set quiz is called that is what we are trying to do today why because if you choose a multiple choice one you can only create a multiple choice questions Okay, uh, of sometimes only one question. Okay, if you take a single choice set, you can create number of questions, but then you can only have a question with single answer type. No, multiple options cannot be selected for that question. But when you say a question set or a quiz, you have around five or six varieties of questions inside that, that you, depending upon your interest, your subject demands, your pedagogical requirements, you can create this quiz. That's why I chose to demo a content type called a question set or a new name given to that as a quiz. When you click on... Uh, yeah. Uh, Ma'am, this is Gulshan from CIT. Ma'am, uh, participants ki taraf se request hai ki kya please bilingual ho sakta hai? Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Haan, haan. sorry, sorry. Haan, jo... Thank you, thank you. Haan. 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 Ye, ye, ye quiz uh, demo karne ke liye socha hai kyunki quiz mein aapko chhe tarikhe ke ya paan chhe chhe tarikhe ke questions aap add kar sakte ho. जैसे कि अगर आप मल्टीपल चॉइस लेंगे तो एक ही क्वेश्चन आप जहां ऐड कर सकते हैं या सिंगल चॉइस लेंगे तो आप एक ही आंसर वाला क्वेश्चन मल्टीपल चॉइस दे सकते हैं लेकिन करेक्ट आंसर एक ही हो सकता है ऐसे वाले क्वेश्चंस नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चंस यू कैन क्रिएट लेकिन क्विज में आप बना सकते हो ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप बना सकते हो मार्क द वर्ड्स बना सकते हो फिल इन द ब्लैंक बना सकते हो जैसे कि फाइव सिक्स वेराइटीज ऑफ क्वेश्चंस वर एडेड टू दिस क्वेश्चन सेट इसलिए मैंने क्विज लिया है जो भी आप एप्लीकेशन यूज कर रहे हो एच का एडिटर ऐसे ही दिखेगा सेम दिखेगा ओके सो आई क्लिक ऑन डिटेल्स हियर 
द ब्यूटी ऑफ दिस एच वाई पी का uh, अंदाज ये है इतना अच्छा है कि जहां भी आप यूज कर रहे हो वहां उसका ट्यूटोरियल भी देते हैं और उसका डेमो भी होता है उसका डिटेल्स होता है और उसका स्क्रीन भी अच्छे से दिखाई देता है दिस इज फॉर मी लाइक आई लर्न इट्स लाइक आई एम अ सेल्फ टॉट पर्सन वेन दे लॉन्च द एच वाई पी फ्रॉम सिंस देन आई एम फॉलोइंग इट अप बिकॉज आउट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट ऑफ ओपन सोर्स टूल्स आई स्टार्ट फॉलोइंग इट अप एंड देन आई एम डीपली in love i fell in love with the hyp because uh, those days i was using some other uh, commercial uh, tool which got really a uh, lot of limitations not only to um, distribute the material but also it's a pocket heavy one but the moment i saw open source hyp and it got wonderful options i started following it up okay so here you can see if you click on content demo it will take you to hyp.org unka jo website hai jahan content demo hai tutorial hai wahan aap jayenge okay aur ye jo hai niche aapko ye screenshots of this content type bhi aap dekh sakte ho you can click on this use option to aapka editor aisa ho jayega ab yahan observe kijiye ट्यूटोरियल का लिंक दिया हुआ है और एग्जाम्पल का लिंक भी दिया हुआ है ये है क्वेश्चन सेट टाइप हमने लिया है जो भी आप कंटेंट टाइप लेते हो जहां आपको फर्स्ट जो फिल करना होता है आपका टाइटल जो आप क्वेश्चन सेट आपके सब्जेक्ट के बारे में जो आप बना रहे हो वो टाइटल दे दीजिए आई एम गोइंग टू डू इट फॉर जनरल साइंस ओके and then there is a small button next to the title if you observe here called metadata which is very important um as i said when you are creating in cloud it's always a good idea to provide the metadata like the copyright information of that content type that you are creating for example i have taken um the questions that i am trying to create are from so and so textbook of scrt or from a site or worksheets that are provided by scrt telangana scrt so i can provide all that information over here or for example you are creating you know, those questions based out of a textbook then you can always provide that and then you can give the license information also so i will give this title as As general science, okay. मैंने क्या किया यहाँ पर मैं टाइटल के बाजू में जो मेटा डेटा है उसको मैंने क्लिक किया और ये जो मेटा डेटा मैं फिल कर रही हूँ लाइसेंस है मैं सी सी बाइक के साथ रिलीज करना चाहती हूँ एंड देन ऑथर में हूं लेकिन सोर्स जहां से लिया है वो मैं मैंशन करूंगी इधर क्योंकि मैंने लिया है ये जो क्वेश्चन है या कोई कॉन्टेंट है टीएसआरटी का वो जो वर्कबुक है वहां से लिया हुआ है सो आई जस्ट गिव यू दैट वंस अगेन आई विल शो यू हाउ आई गॉट इन टू दैट मेटा डेटा फर्स्ट आई क्लिक ऑन क्वेश्चन सेट देन आई गॉट दिस एडिटर एरिया देन आई टाइप टू माई टाइटल आई क्लिक ऑन दिस मेटा डेटा दैट्स वे यू कैन एड योर क्वेश्चन लेट मी टेक दैट इंफॉर्मेशन आई सेव इट इन वन ऑफ माई ड्राफ्ट let me open that draft here okay let me the worksheet that i mentioned i mentioned here is so i will give the source of that worksheet here okay and then you can also click on save metadata that metadata is saved just come down you have a small button here quiz introduction aap quiz introduction dena bhuliye mat and it is not uh, really mandatory a optional hai fir bhi acha lagta hai quiz introduction yani ki itne sare questions hai aap uh, aise answer kar sakte ho aisa waisa hai और आप कोई आप इमेज डालना चाहते हो इमेज भी यहाँ आप ऐड कर सकते हैं लेकिन रिमेम्बर दैट जो आप इंट्रोडक्शन में या क्विज का बैकग्राउंड का जो इमेज ऐड करना चाहते हो वो कॉपीराइट फ्रेंडली इमेज लेना है ठीक है जहां यहाँ मैंने क्विज इंट्रोडक्शन कुछ नहीं दे रही हूँ नीचे जा रही हूँ कोई और जो यहाँ 
डिस्क्राइब किया हुआ है मैं टच नहीं कर रही हूँ बिकॉज आई एम गोइंग विथ अ वेरी बेसिक देर आर देर आर बेसिक यूजर्स हियर सो इसलिए पहले मैं जो बेसिक्स है वो सिखाती हूँ अगर टाइम मिला तो हमको बाकी सब भी हम एक्सप्लोर करेंगे डेफिनेटली जो यहाँ क्वेश्चंस जो है आप देख सकते हैं इधर लोडिंग का एक फर्स्ट वन है एंड द सेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट वन यू सी दैट ऐड क्वेश्चन करके एक है नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट ऐसा सो ऐसा आप क्वेश्चंस ऐड करते जाएंगे यहाँ क्वेश्चन टाइप जो है ड्रॉप डाउन है यहाँ पर ऑलमोस्ट सेवन ऑफ देम आर देर मल्टीपल चॉइस ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप है फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स है Mark the words, drag the words, true or false, and essay. Essay is a bit advanced one, but I don't know how far it is really useful here in our context. So I am not touching that. So we will see a multiple choice first. Okay. So we'll click on this multiple choice. Somebody asked me that uh, I tried quiz, and then it is asking me to add questions here. This is how you do it, sir or madam, whoever asked. Okay. Here I'll remove this untitled one. Okay, title is multiple choice question. अगर ये question आपको कोई media के ऊपर है, यानी कि आप कुछ image देके उसके बारे में आप पूछना चाहते हो, नहीं तो अगर आप Sanskrit पढ़ा रहे हो, Sanskrit में आप कुछ बोलेंगे, वो audio file यहाँ डालके छोटा सा और उसके बारे में आप question पूछ सकते हो, जैसे आपने सुना है उसमें which ये जो word है उसका meaning क्या है आप लिख सकते हो इधर so ऐसा नहीं तो science में कुछ आप image देके वो image में जो जहाँ दिखा गया है उसके बारे में वो part explain क्या कर रहा है तो वैसा वाला question भी आप दे सकते हो so अगर आपको media add करना है तो click on media और टाइप में इमेज या वीडियो ऑडियो जो भी आपको ऐड करना है आप ऐड कर सकते हैं बट वेन एवर यू एड एनी इमेज रिमेम्बर द कॉपी राइट इंफॉर्मेशन टू एड एंड ऑल्सो ऑल्टरनेटिव टेक्स्ट टू गिव एज एन ऑप्शन फॉर टू कैटर दिस कॉन्टेंट टू इवन फॉर अ स्पेशल नीड्स किड्स और स्पेशल नीड्स पीपल दैट वेदर इफ दे यूज अ स्क्रीन रीडर और एनी अदर स्पेशल डिवाइस टू एक्सेस अवर कॉन्टेंट टाइप we have to give alternative text but remember while providing a alternative text in especially quizzes it's a very tricky need not to reveal the answer isn't it okay now the question now i will write a question i is known as okay this is my question and then options available options uh oh i'm sorry yahan jo options hai i think i saw this question in um, one of those worksheets only okay and uh, this is the correct option so i give the correct option the second option i give this is not a correct option and then if i want to add two more options i click on add an option and then i can give those options okay okay this is the first question that you have added remember for every uh, task you have behavioral settings so inside this multiple choice uh, quiz uh, the inside this question set for every question you can set the behavioral settings for example you click on this behavioral settings you will see that every question type will differ again for this you want to show the solution once they check once they clear it then you can enable this and then there is an option to randomize answers and then require answer before the solution can be viewed the by default it is checked already so you want them to answer first then only show the uh, show solution button this is how you first add one question for example you want to add another question also multiple choice what you can do is you can click on this copy option you can click on add a question and then you say paste and then you can edit these options here okay i hope uh, i am clear here so i have added two multiple choice questions here for, by copying the first one and then i'll be editing the second one so i can edit the 
second one. So I will delete this untitled in the title. So I'll say skin specialist is known as, this is a wrong option, so I won't choose that. And I will choose dermatologist as my correct option. So you can have multiple correct options also. So this is how you add your first question. So we added one, two questions already, multiple choice types. So next one we will add one more is mark the words. We will use that. Before that, I want to stop here and see that whether you are able to follow or not. Yahan tak jo humne kiya hai, pehle ek multiple choice add kiya hai, aur isko hum copy karke, phir add question karke, hum paste and replace karke, wo question ko phir edit kiya hai, toh humko do multiple choice mil gaya. There is also one more option, option here, textual option, lekin jahan ab editing mode mein waha jayenge, phir yahan aenge, thoda dikkat ho jayega, Textual B, agar aapko ek bar HYP ke saath achcha nata joda aur aapko samaj mein aagya ye kaisa kaam kar raha hai, then you can go and type directly in the textual word pad. Maybe pura questions aap type kar sakte ho. Lekin pehle aapko front end samaj mein chan, samaj mein hona hai. Tabhi aap ye textual use kar sakte hai. Okay? So this is how you add. Let me stop sharing here and see if there are any questions. Haan. Repeat to mein bahut uh, karungi. Drag the word text mein karungi. Is it similar to Google quiz? Um, why do you think it is similar to Google quiz? That is my question to you. And uh, you can give me in the chat that answer also. And uh, we create with Google Forms is uh, some additional features. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What are the additional features here? You can provide a feedback for every answer that they give you. Yeah. What is the variation in feedback range? I'll come there, sir. <laughs> Tejender Singh, sir, how can we save or send the link to the students? You are very fast. Okay. I'm coming there. I'm trying to, uh, uh, I'm trying to uh, address the very first timers. Okay. Yeah. How to set marks? Okay. So, uh, by how it calculates is automatically, I'll show you. Yeah. Score range mein mein bata deti hu. Accessible at Google. I didn't understand. Yes, this is also accessible, sir. If you, if you talk about accessibility. Um, I don't say it is a similar to Google quiz because... When you uh, take a Google form, can you see that uh, the report that how many times if you give a, um, multiple options to try, okay? So how many times they accessed and then how, in Google, you would only restrict them just simply you give and then link can be shared and then um, you there is no communication as such. For each and every content type of every option that you give as a multiple choice option, you can give a feedback for everything, isn't it? Here. Yeah, you can change the language. Yes, you can use in your own language. It supports multilingual. Okay, so I will repeat. And then before that, let me um, answer uh, Hemlata Tiwari from UP. Login nahi ho raha hai. Is it because of the wrong password that you are giving? Okay, I can't help with that. So, uh, aap kisi se, kisi ka help lijiye. Or, uh, fir se register kijiye. To aap use kar sakte ho. Nahi to uh, forgot password kijiye. Then you will be able to do it. Okay, you can use. You can use in your own language too. You can create quizzes. Yes, all subjects, any subject, even if we take a H5P subject specific, again, it, it's actually an ocean that uh, I'm dealing with. Um, that's why I took the survey. So to understand what kind of uh, subjects you are all teaching, I saw that it's um, amalgamation, that there are language teachers, science teachers, math teachers. And I thought somebody will definitely raise a question uh, on that. I'm waiting before I answer anything about it. Okay. 
Urdu. Yes, you can. Sometimes Manjit Singh sir, it's a, some content types supports adding a GIF image. Some content types like in multiple choice quiz set, it, it, it used to support earlier when it is a part of your interactive book. Right now, you please try and check it out, sir. It, it, it clearly mentioned there what kind of images that are allowed. It is a, the HYP is a very beautiful tool that wherever there is an option to add any kind of a file, he clearly mentions that what kind of a file you can add. And also when it comes to accessibility, it will even give you an option to add multiple varieties of uh, same content because you have to consider inclusivity also. Okay, we can only export them for designing. I didn't understand this, Surendra Pearl Singh. Can we create questions or we can only export them for designing? I didn't. You mean to say the bulk questions that you want to create? You can use a textual form and then you can do it, sir, in the bulk. But then before that, you better understand the front end first. And remember, this is only one content type that we are exploring now. There are 40 to 50 varieties of content types available in HYP. Okay. Now I will repeat once again. <clears throat> I'll repeat once again. Yeah. So uh, what I did is I uh, came to this page. Once I logged in, I clicked on create new content type. Then I selected a quiz that is a question set in bracket it is written earlier we used to call it a question set now they renamed it as a quiz and then i gave my title of the quiz and then i gave metadata that is a uh, copyright information if i have taken these questions or images from anywhere and then i came down to questions and then there is my first one it will be written as loading then there from this drop down i selected multiple choice and then I added the question just below this question. Okay. And then I have given all my options here. If it is a correct option, I check this correct option. And then um, I, because I wanted to add next question also a multiple choice question, then I just copied it and I clicked on add a question and then I pasted that question over there. Okay. Coming to the feedback and marks. Okay tips and feedback what happens that hint for the user for example <coughs> the moment a user drags his uh, her mouse onto the dentist you can give them a hint hey this doctor deals with teeth or something like that okay and uh, if if you if they have selected this option you can even display a message Okay, even if they don't select also, you can display a message. You will ask me that why are such kind of options available here? Let me tell you, this uh, tool is designed after like a lot of uh, research that uh, uh, from all over the world, especially that what kind of a pedagogical view is required while creating assessments, what exactly teachers will think. So there, there might be situations, a context where you have to provide. I can't really explain now every each and every situation, but then definitely, for example, you take a language. Okay, you are talking about a grammar in various ways of using that particular adverb or adjective, or it can uh, it can play a different role in a different type of a sentence. So you can even provide those kind of hints and options when you provide that um, as a multiple. Um, choice option for one question here okay and then coming to your behavioral setting and score range you can provide a custom feedback okay you can provide a custom feedback for example how it takes how it takes a scoring for example here it it says that under behavioral settings it says pass percentage 100 like everything you have to get complete marks on this so, for example, you have a four choices and then one correct option, the 100% is for that. If you have two correct options and then it will divide, right? right? 
and then uh, 50 50 and if it is a 3 33.3 33.3 33.3 that's how it divides if it is all four are correct options then 25 25 25 that's how it calculates up and then score range other depending upon the range that you can provide the feedback remember this is only for one question you have behavioral settings for the entire quiz also that we will be looking at it shortly okay so this is for this question and then there is also one more thing given here question type is sometimes <clears throat> because it is also related to your scoring so sometimes what happens is even it is a uh, it, you select a multiple choice question only one question is correct like in my case then automatically it chooses uh, the radio buttons rather than your um, <clears throat> check boxes or you can explicitly uh, mention that please give radio buttons okay and also there is one checkbox here so to enable them to give a total of one point for multiple correct answers okay so what happens is you have uh, two or three correct options so total only one point uh, for all those then you can select this okay but remember this is not for your um, final assessments okay this is a uh, only for a formative to improve the learning curve of the user that to test self test and then improve it we are trying to give them an option to interact with the content and then in turn learn out of that feedback that you provide okay so that is a one that is one way of creating these multiple choice questions then we will create the next question that is we'll click on this add a question <clears throat> And then <clears throat> you will select either mark the words, drag the words, drag and drop, or simple true or false question. You please try true or false question on your own and see the behavioral setting changes that you got. That is, uh, you for your practice, you please do it for the first time. I'm not touching true or false because it's very easy one. So let's try first. Let us try drag and drop also at the end. For, because it got some multiple steps to follow. First, we will do easy ones. Okay. So we will do the mark the words. What is this mark the words? For example, you have given a paragraph and then uh, if you take a language and then you want the user to select all the adjectives in that paragraph or nouns or a pronoun. This is a simple example I'm giving. But then here uh, I have taken a paragraph from the general science worksheet so I'm trying to take that information. So now uh, I will try to give the task description. I have selected mark the words. And now I will give the task description. What is the task description? How the user should solve this task? Okay, read the paragraph. <clears throat> Mark the names of the tribes. Okay, so <clears throat> and see the beauty of this <clears throat> that every content type there are nice instructions given, important instructions. You can even hide them or show instructions. Then you can see that how to do this. So correct words you can in a paragraph. You can mark the words, correct words, only words, not of phrases, okay? okay? Mark the words with the asterisks, okay? Only words can be marked as um, a correct words, but not the phrase, okay? Now, this is an answer. I am giving my paragraph over here. I will select my paragraph. Okay, this is my paragraph here. I think uh, it is not properly formatted. Okay, and now I want to mark all the uh, tribes names given here. Okay, this is one tribe name that is mentioned, Nagoba. 
So I'm making uh, the word in between asterisks. And there is one more here, Chinchu. And uh, there is one more, Bonda. Okay, these are my correct words. I hope I did it. And uh, uh, behavioral settings, let's observe the behavioral settings for this. See, <clears throat> here we have only score points, enable show solution or enable retry. Okay, if I uncheck this show solution, it won't show the solution, but gives an option to retry. Let us check that. Okay, so I have added one more question, mark the words. I haven't saved it. Uh, but definitely you can use this option on the right side as a save option here. Okay, somebody asked me how to save this. You click on the right save option. Okay, you will get it saved. Sometimes um, with the kind of uh, browser or the system you are using, you might have, uh, you might uh, get an error message like I just got if you observe that. Otherwise, it will get saved. So I'll wait here, try to do mark the words. Meanwhile, I'll open the same page in my other browser and I will show you the end result. Uh, Tejinder Singh, sir, uh, fill up the feedback again and again. Feedback not for the entire content type. We are giving here feedback for each uh, question, each option that I explained it to you, not for the entire activity. Okay, so now I'll open in my other browser. Just give me a few minutes and uh, in my... <clears throat> I will share this. Meanwhile, you please uh, do the true or false and also mark the words.
So shall I share after saving how it looks? Let me see the chat once again. Yeah, Vandana ma'am, uh, on the phone it might be a bit difficult. Yeah. Okay, Rajesh Kumar sir, uh, your Chrome should be a latest version. Sometimes it is giving me error. That's why I opened in Safari and I did it. If you have another browser, you please do it. Uh, where will the question asked? In the task description, you have to write. In the task description, you have to write what the user need to do. Okay, Rampal sir, and then Rajinder, uh, tell the option of getting all type of questions on same page. Sir, all types of questions you want to do on the same page, then use a column type, sir. Okay, column type, content type you use, and then add questions, whatever the content you type, but there will be a depth of scroll for the user, which is not uh, advisable though, but there is an option. Um, uh, Shashi Paul, sir, you registered for h5p.com. I didn't ask you to do that. I only asked you to go for a Lumi. <clears throat> okay. And then, yeah, I will show how to run it. Saving steps, yes. Yes, you can you can use open ended, but then uh, will you be able to? Um, um, I mean, uh, when it is an automated grading, there is an option for essay type also where you can consider if you have certain words are mentioned in that you can mark it depending on that. But then it it is mostly for auto graded ones and difference yes i will tell you lumi is just an application to create h5p content type for example you can create word documents in various ways right you can use microsoft word or LibreOffice, or um, you can create documents using google docs or uh, you have uh, other various uh, varieties like in zoho also you have a uh, docs i think if i'm not wrong so there are various ways that you can create documents right similarly for interactive content creation they launched one application called lumi it's not lumia it's lumi um Okay, you, you, if you are Arti Sethi ma'am, if you have selected a multiple choice question content type, you can add only one question. If you take a question set, you can add different types of questions. If you want only single choice questions, or one by one you want, then you can take a single choice content type. Okay. Um, ma'am, can I interview so for mobile? It is not an issue. Okay, it is suitable for mobile. Okay, Monica, ma'am, you're saying something? Yes, ma'am. I was just wondering if you need a break for 10 minutes. If participants need, I need. Otherwise, <laughs> I can go on. <laughs> so, we can, uh, everyone, we are continuing with this session after the break also. Because it has variety of content types and uh, slightly technically uh, qualities involved. So, this is a longer session for you all. तो आप सभी लोग 10 मिनट का ब्रेक ले लें और हम जुड़ते हैं शार 3:45 पे सेशन शुरू हो जाएगा आप कोशिश करें उससे 2 मिनट पहले जुड़ जाएं जिससे कि हम 3:45 वी कैन रिज्यूम द सेशन